Welcome back. You're watching Eye on Gauteng. It's South Africa's premier jazz festival and boasts an impressive lineup of local and international giants in jazz. I'm talking, of course, about the joy of jazz, and that's the focus of this segment. Mandy, uh, it is the Standard Bank Joy of Jazz, and I'm sure that because, uh, that's because of your sponsorship. Oh, I'm really interested to know, what is your return on investment? In terms of all the money you're pouring in and you know your name is associated with this jazz festival and uh, before the break we we're talking about where priority should go in terms of pouring money and uh, like gloria said buckets of money but what return on investment have you had with the buckets of money that you've thrown at the jazz all right when one looks at return on investment in any kind of arts property and under arts i include jazz mm -hmm. it is an arts form um, it's very difficult to pinpoint down to the exact cent what that ROI can be. Mm -hmm. We do not try to uh, get real return on investment unless in some instances, if they're appropriate and one can link it to the Jazz Festival, we do with our um, business initiatives develop promotions that where we can promote a business product. But the worst thing one can try and do is to simply sell any kind of account through a jazz festival. For us, when we look at return on investment, it comes through the association. Mm. Joy of Jazz has become a major brand awareness um, initiative for us. It builds stature, it builds equity, our name is associated with it, and it works both ways because the producers through T Music Man, the product that they have built up over years has benefited through that as well. So for us, it is first and foremost a brand building awareness <coughs> campaign through the marketing, but also through the event, which as I've said over 13 years has built up major mm -hmm. equity. Uh, at the same time, where we do look at returns, and I can assure you we do not do this as much as there are CSI elements attached to it, we do not do that only for that. We do want our, uh, a return on our buck. So if one looks at, for instance, last year's jazz festival, Joy of Jazz, um, purely through media coverage, it was valued at uh, close on 47 million rand, and it is Regardless of what is being said, even if it's negative, it is the Standard Bank Joy of Jazz Festival. Th so those returns mm. are huge in terms of the marketplace. Mm. And I just want to—I want to talk about another association, mm. and that is the association with the Gauteng Province. Uh, Mandy's just given us a, a, a glimpse into the big numbers that uh, you know are spoken about when the Joy of Jazz is talked about. People are going to be flying from all over the country to the Gauteng province. There's a tourism element in that as well. MEC, how is the Gauteng government uh, pleased with itself that they have such a property such as the Joy of Jazz? Um, it can't get better than Joy of Jazz, so certainly we are pleased. Um, mm. It has proven itself over a period of time that it's a durable um, a brand and that um, it has a, a, a value. Um, when people come to the province whether they are from other countries uh, in the continent or other provinces, they spend money, they book hotels, mm. uh, they buy food, they buy drinks. And, and, and that's what we want, um, um, an injection into the GDP so mm. that uh, it, it can grow. It might seem not that huge uh, initially, but over a period of time, it takes time to build a brand. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, for Joy of Jazz to be around for 13 years, it shows that uh, it's, a, it's a durable brand, and we are happy to have uh, such a brand in our province, and we will do anything in our power to help it grow even bigger, mm -hmm. because uh, um, we also benefit as a province. Um, the people uh, of the province uh, benefit, and uh, the sponsors get their value. The Organizers are also able mm -hmm. to make uh, uh, their, 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 their Glory, uh, sorry, uh, thank you, MEC. Glory, I just want to find out from you. Um, do you think that, as is uh, in most cases of these uh, commercial ventures, that its um, <coughs> attention is somewhat taken away from the reason why we are coming here in the first place, which is to, to watch you perform, to listen to you perform, and another uh, you know, international artist? Do you think that the artist is still at the front and center, or the, the, the art, or the musicians? still at the front and center of such festivals or has it become commercialized then? Um, well <laughs> we you do you want commercialization. <laughs> because yes, yeah. you can't run but away but from yeah, that. You can't uh, run just away from that point of view. 
Um, you, you know, in as much as the Standard Bank brings in branding that will, will sort of promotes them as a bank, as per se, you know, and tourism also comes in there and it, it shines in the glory of, of the whole event. And uh, we, we, we want to get to a place where, where there's equal partnership that happens with tourism mm. and the arts and sort of there is that link where, where there isn't a gap we don't want to be the other people which are just an attraction within the whole thing but we want to be the driving force mm. of what tourism is doing but do you, you think know? that's the case right now are the musicians the driving force at the moment it, it, it's it, you know it's it's sort of one of those things that are addressed in, in, a, in a very ambiguous way where no one is taking <laughs> responsibility as to, Let me see, do to you say agree that's with that? it you know that we have this wonderful event it's in Gauteng it's sponsored by Standard Bank oh by the way there's some jazz artists too yeah as well <laughs> is it uh, like that no, I, don't, I don't know what 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 driving force and all that means but all <laughs> I know all I know is that whatever money we put in uh -huh. uh, ultimately artists uh, uh, do benefit from it and 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 we would want to see artists benefiting if artists were saying we are not being paid we are performing for free we would be very angry because we're putting that money um, as a, as a, as a, because we want artists to benefit. So Wendy, you jump we're not treating them as a by the way. Uh, we, without them, there's no show. Without so them, there's no show. Yes. Well, I fully agree. Uh, ultimately, the artists are the ones who should benefit. Because mm. quite frankly, without the artists there, there would be no festival. Mm. So whether it's a sponsor, whether it's government, whether it's tourism, it, it simply wouldn't happen without the artists and we would be left empty-handed. We certainly don't want the artists to be left empty-handed either. Mm. All right. Now let's move the topic along. Um, I want to bring you in here, Gloria. In terms of the art festival, the Standard Bank Joy of Jazz, in terms of it being a purely jazz event, we have other jazz festivals in the country, more, uh, more famously uh, in the Western Cape, the Cape Town Jazz Festival. Mm -hmm. How does the, the Standard Bank Joy of Jazz hosted in Gauteng compare with other jazz events around the globe and even in our country? Uh, well, I, I guess you cannot run away from including other genres, you know, sort of get that whole diluting sort of mood that, that happens. You can't run away from that. But um, I have found that Joy of Jazz is, is primarily like more jazz than, you know, a whole lot of other events, you know, because they, they want to push that and have that in, in the forefront. Even the, 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 the international artists that have been brought in, they, you know, it's it's like hardcore jazz artists, mm -hmm. which which is, is still keeping that whole jazz brand going. But you can't sideline the other artists with 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 bring in other forms, you know. Also, because we in Africa, you know, there is that element of the African music that will come in. We can't run away from that. Also, so you will have your your artists, you know, that do more open music, which has traditional elements to it, that will always be part of the jazz. Okay, so it's really a show that uh, shouldn't be missed. Let me see. Uh, Mandy, we just have about a few minutes left. Uh, just your closing statements and discussions uh, before we close. Well, uh, we are grateful to be part of the Standard Bank Joy of Jazz um, as the province to be the host. And we want to see the brand growing, um, um, going forward, becoming even bigger than what it has become. Mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> because that is good for our province. It's good for our people. And it should be good for the musicians mm. as well. Because Let me see, in my, in my introduction, I mentioned there that uh, one can argue that the origination or the birthplace of South African jazz is the Gauteng province. This is where it thrived. I mean, obviously, you get those musicians with, with exceptional talent from other provinces in the country, but Gauteng is almost the birthplace of South African jazz. Is this a, a, an idea that the Gauteng government under your department is going to sort of grow on and maybe market more and be more aggressive? Certainly. We're, we're looking at... Uh, all the different genres, not just jazz. Mm -hmm. We want to be aggressive with all the different genres, and that's why our initiatives are aimed at boosting. And, sit, and, and like I said to you, uh, two years ago there was a study. I was shocked to see it, that jazz is a leading, and I don't know <laughs> um, um, uh, why at the time um, the study t told us that, and, and, and whether a jazz lover, because if you go to townships, we've got a lot of jazz clubs, mm -hmm. uh, by the way. Um, I, I, in almost in all the townships, um, and, and it gets to show you how people appreciate uh, uh, the genre, and maybe it's because uh, I mean, maybe people are not able to 
to show their appreciation in large numbers because there are no sufficient avenues mm -hmm. for them to go. There is no predictability. There is mm -hmm. no comfort, intimacy. Is this something the Standard Bank would like to maybe facilitate, uh, make more venues available uh, for those that appreciate the form? Uh, over and above, I know I'm putting you on the spot here. <laughs> <laughs> We've always had a policy in that we don't put our funding into bricks and mortar. Mm -hmm. We put it into actual projects, make okay. them happen, make them grow. So yes, we, we're not going to be looking at uh, building new venues or uh, big or small. But we most certainly do want to see the jazz genre grow. To touch on something we just mentioned very briefly at the beginning, there has been, and there still is, the perception that jazz is for the older audience. That has certainly changed dramatically over the years. And also, to a degree, the reason why a jazz festival, such as Joy of Jazz and others, but perhaps here less so, you do have a fusion of music. You always have at least one stage where there are musicians who are not pure jazz to bring in those younger audiences, to expose them to jazz, and hopefully for them to continue supporting jazz in the future. Mm. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being on my program today. We certainly hope that those that are going to be fortunate enough to see Gloria in action this weekend will be very, very happy. And we would like to thank you also for your time and uh, Standard Bank, and we hope that uh, this vision that you have for uh, the Gauteng province in terms of the arts is going to be something that we see in our lifetime and to be successful. Pleasure. Thank you very much.